Welcome to the AI Research Roundup. I'm Alex. Today we are looking at a paper from the Hugging Face Trending List, published on November 19th, 2025, just yesterday. It introduces a unified family of image and up to 10-second video generators that reach state-of-the-art visual quality and motion coherence, while still running fast enough to be practical. The paper is titled Kandinsky 5.0, A Family of Foundation Models for Image and Video Generation. And as we will see later, the combination of data curation, new architecture, and training tricks has really impressive implications for everyday generative tools. Also, the authors shared a GitHub repo where you get the full Kandinsky 5.0 suite, configs and checkpoints for Video Pro, Video Lite, image and image editing, plus Python pipelines, a quick start script for text-to-video and image tasks, model downloader, distributed and optimized inference, and extra notebook examples. Figure 1 gives a quick visual tour of what Kandinsky 5.0 can generate, showing that the models handle portraits, stylized text, cinematic scenes, and playful 3D or game-like worlds in one unified system. The collage covers realistic photos, digital art, and surreal compositions, which signals broad style coverage. These examples together suggest that the framework already reaches high perceptual quality and diversity for both everyday and highly creative prompts. Figure 1 lays out the Kandinsky 5.0 model family so listeners can see how the pieces fit together. The left branch shows the image light model with 6 billion parameters, which powers text to image light and image editing variants. The center branch presents the 2 billion parameter video light model that supports text to video light and image to video light. The right branch highlights the 19 billion parameter video pro model which drives text to Video Pro and image to Video Pro for the highest visual quality. Figure 10 shows how the crossed IT backbone fuses text, time, and visual inputs into a single stream of latents that the diffusion process can refine. The left side processes raw text through a refiner, which cleans up and rebalances language tokens so they work better with the image core. The middle block collects time, clip-style text, and visual latents, then feeds them into a stack of crossed IT blocks that repeatedly mix modalities. On the right, an adaptive normalization layer, which adjusts features based on the prompt and time, prepares everything for the final linear and unpatching step that reconstructs the image or video. Figure 28 shows that human raters generally prefer Kandinsky 5.0 video light over Sora on most video quality aspects. The stacked bars across the whole figure indicate higher grain regions, which means better motion dynamics, more realistic objects and faces, and overall higher visual quality. The artifacts bar suggests Kandinsky usually produces fewer glitches. Only the prompt following bar leans blue, so Sora tracks textual instructions slightly more faithfully. All right, to wrap up, this work shows that a single, well-engineered family of models can cover high-quality images and short videos, with motion that people actually prefer and latency that stays practical. The open checkpoints and tools should really accelerate applied generative research. That is it for this episode of the AI Research Roundup. I am Alex. Thanks for listening.